Hello, this is SLN heat test number two. This time we're gonna go with a 21700 3000 milliamp Samsung 30T. A lot more high drain, a lot more output, and we'll talk more after I put the cell in and start the test. All right, so this time we're starting off at 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Ambient temperature is 74. This cell should get the heat up real fast. Cause with the main cur cell protected, we started off roughly 3000 lumen, uh, 2600, 2600 lumen, uh, 2650 to be exact. And with this cell, we're starting off at 4,000 lumens, so it's a lot brighter, a lot hotter as well, and you can see the temperature climbed rather fast. Now this time around, I wrap duct tape around the bottom of the light, the tail cap. That way there are no heat transfer from the body of the light to the uh, vise. And I'll show you guys that later if you guys are interested. Yup, temperature are definitely rising quick. Just warm, not hot yet. Still good. This is a much higher drain, but yes, you notice this is much lower capacity as well. 3000 versus 4800 and the A-Speam one even does 5100 milliamp hour. So this is good if you only run your lights short burst. The host does get hotter a lot faster. So it's already getting rather warm. I would say two and a half minutes. Okay, so there we go. Two and a half minutes is about where I would say the safety uh, point is for this specific battery. And still, we're still running the same quad W2 light engine. All right, so now we'll just watch for the temperature to rise and see when it'll actually dip. It'll dip when there's enough voltage sag. So we went from seven minutes with the protected cell down to two and a half minutes with the unprotected cell. Peak temperature reach was, uh, time was 11 minutes with the protected cell. We'll see how long it takes for this light to reach max temp. One fifty five. Look at that temp climbing. The bottom of the tail cap is still pretty cold. The mid section here is warm. The neck is hot. The bezel is hot. So anywhere from this point up is really hot and it's colder as we get down, obviously. 166. And we're only at four minutes. So yeah, this cell is definitely smoking. Hot. I'm gonna go get safety glasses and a fire extinguisher just in case. All right, 179.9, 180. It's hot. Oh, 
I'm standing behind a barrier so I'm relatively safe while I can still observe the uh, the temperature here on the gauge 184.9 185 oh I did took the light engine out of the light to make some uh, connection tweaks so that we can get a little bit more better current draw to push out the max absolute max output possible and that's how we reached the 4000 lumen with the same man curb uh, protected battery I was able to get another 250 lumen so we were at 2900 lumen versus 2650 with the the older man curb that we were testing with the, uh, the protector cell 193 wow still rising at six minutes One ninety five. And as far as I can tell from my position, uh, from my vantage point, I can see that the uh, the all four LED are still lit. None of them have went out yet. So that's a good sign. One ninety eight. Two hundred. We're really, really stressing the limit of the light engine at this point. And again, I'm behind a very safe barrier should anything goes wrong. This test is simply just to demonstrate how the circuitry hold up with extreme heat and how robust the light engine is. Two oh nine. Okay, we're hitting nine minutes. At the ninth minute mark, I'm just going to step away from the light and I'll just let the camera run. This way I'll be completely safe. Alright, I'll just come back in several minutes. We have the footage, so we'll see.
I just took a sneak peek and the light's still on. All right, I'm back. 206.7, so we're dropping now. I have no clue when the temp started to drop, but we'll find out when we review the video. Let me go grab my fire extinguisher, just in case. All right, so uh, uh, my wild guess is stopped somewhere around 215, 218. But we'll, we'll find out. Uh, let me quickly check to see if all four LEDs are still on. And yes, it is. All right, I'll just show you that on camera for now. I'm just going to, uh, we no longer need to observe the uh, thermometer here, so I'm gonna move the camera. So that's showing the four LEDs are still good. All right, so uh, at this point, I'm gonna turn off the light. That way, we can uh, go inside and do a lumen reading and see where, uh, how much output is retaining right now, what's the voltage and all that. All right, uh, that'll be it. Later, guys.